Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In this video, we're going to create a list list of restaurants by using the Xano backend and the React Studio. And I will be continue using the same pro, uh, project file that I that we built in the previous videos, and uh, we're going to just extend this a bit. So here uh, in the Xano backend, I have this uh, data database here, and I have a table called Restaurants. Uh, let's just dive into restaurants and there's a list of list of restaurants and there's a restaurant image image file and uh, description and name and and a bunch of other other data so we just want to list list this uh, this uh, this data into in the react studio project let's upload an image here as well let's 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 put a restaurant one there so now we have image for each each restaurant and what we need to do, we just open the, the React Studio project that we already had. We, we created the login gate and the sign up form and then the error screen there. And then there's the start screen. So let's call this start screen restaurants like this. And I'll just double click it. And we can leave the logout button here or just take it away. But I will, I will just put it in the foreground group so I can put it put in the in the or on top of the the navigation bar and uh now it's aligned from the left side but i want to align it from the right side so now it will be on the right side of the of the screen every time so in each screen size you can see already that it's it's aligned to the right and i can delete this one and now we can start building the the actual restaurant lists list and for the list let's let's start with the data i'll just head to the data tab and click connect to Xano and I've already uh, logged into my Xano account. I will just select the, the instance and then the friendly eats and here's the public interface and it already shows me the tables here and I don't want to import other tables than just restaurants and click OK and the studio automatically loads the, uh, the, the restaurant data here. And uh, now we have the now we have the the data table ready in the studio, and uh, the IP endpoint is uh, slash restaurants. If I would like to, for example, use different endpoints, I can just create manually new data sheets and just use the Xeno plugin and use this API endpoint setting here or field here to select which endpoint I'm going to use with this this data sheet. So let's head back to the design mode for the list. We need a list component and we need a, a, a list element and we start with the list component. So this will be the component that will be repeated in the list. So I will call it component restaurant like this. Just double click it and uh, yes, let's add a background element. I'll just make the component a little bit bigger but not wider than the base, the minimum size here. And then we can start tracking the tracking the elements here. So I will start with the image. So we're going to click yes here. Everything will be placed on the scroll flow. So if there's a, a wider, a longer text, then the, the the component will stretch. It will stay change its height based on the uh, size of the content. And I will align this component from left and right. And maybe I don't want this component to be, uh, this image to be so that it, it always maintains the content aspect ratio, because if the if there's a, like a portrait image, then the, the list will look stupid, <laughs> at least my, my opinion. So let's keep it this way. So this will be the maximum height of the image all the time. And then we can add a text element here, and I will use this this quick shortcut here and uh, left and right edges to the screen so now it's aligned from the left and right maybe it could be so that it's five pixels from left and minus five from right so now it's always and then 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 i can just duplicate it command d and now i have two two uh, text elements here and this will be used for the uh, restaurant name and this will be for the restaurant uh, address and that's all we want to show in this list. And uh, maybe I would like to style this a bit. 
I can just change the uh, style to the headline, so, to, so the font will be bigger. You can change the styles here in the app settings, app styles. You can change the color of each style and the other stuff here, and uh, the fonts for the each style. Or you can just manually change the change the font by changing the uh, style to custom and then just change whatever settings you want. But in this case, I'm happy with the headline style and the and the base text style. And let's let's continue by by uh, creating properties for this component in React. Everything goes through the props, so I can create props manually. Or I can just uh, uh, use this uh, quick link here or to data. So I could do the one, this one for, to the data. So I can change this will basically this drop down menu will just show me that all the available data sheet columns and data slots here. And this actually doesn't not does not make the connection between the data. This will just create the property for this for this component. So this will be linked to the restaurant name. So the text of the of the this text element here comes from the restaurant name, and this will come from the de restaurant description, like here. And I could do the same thing here by just dragging the restaurant description here and select which which uh, attribute I'm going to link this and now we're good to go and maybe I want to add grid spacer here this is just an element for making a little bit space a uh, bit after the after the text description text here and uh, I will make it two grid units height and now we're good to go and we can go to the restaurant screen and let's add a grid, grid and list element here. I'll just place it here and do the same thing. Align it from left and right and then select the uh, data source. And the data source will be obviously the restaurants. And uh, I probably don't want to show the grid on at least on the uh, mobile size. So I will just put this on the vertical and maybe I could show a grid on a white tablet or desktop. It could be three columns. I think that's probably okay. And then head to the nested comp tab here. And this is where I select which component will be repeated on this list. I'll just select the component we just created. And now we have the list list here. And uh, well, basically we're good to go. Uh, I will just place the list a little bit lower somewhere there I think that looks good and I can just hit open in browser and here's the login demo or the demo app in the in the in the browser I think I need to check which users do we have here we had a one user, I guess. Let's see. Yes, we had Tim. And click login. And this is how, how the list looks. It looks like we don't we are not able to see the see the uh, images yet, so we need to go back and check what's the problem with the image. Oh, it looks like there's no property set for the image as, at, at all, so I'll just select the restaurant cover image and link that to the image property here and just re-click the opening browser. And the studio generates the code again, and now we should be able to see the, the images for each it's restaurant and if I put this into mobile size we can see that the list adjusts itself so that it's not grid anymore it's just a list and here you can see there's a different uh, the component height depends on the on the content here we have longer description text so the so the component height will be 
uh, taller and here we have less text so the component uh, is, is shorter and maybe we could style this a bit let's add a background image for the login gate i think it looked a little bit plain so maybe this could be a good and i can just put it in full screen and now it's on the foreground group but i will drag it onto background group and now we're now we have a background image for the login gate And let's click a logout, and here it is. Yeah, well, it doesn't look. We should add a probably add a white, white background for the, for the for for this section here. But uh, I think it's it's okay now. But uh, one thing I probably want to change here is the background color of the, of the list component. So we can go to. Select the background here. Click a custom and change this maybe to something like this and then head to the restaurant screen and select the spacing between items in the list so vertical could be I don't know, maybe five five and five here so now now we should have a spacing between the each element on the screen and let's recompile the code login and now here you can see there's a distinction between the elements here this is uh, the five pixel margin here between each each element but you can play around with the, the styling of the of the stuff when you when you get the the the, the main idea how, here how the how the studio works in the in the grid you can see the same 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 uh, margin here between the the horizontal margin as well. Okay, uh, so in the next episode, I think we're going to create a details view for each, each restaurant so that when user clicks a certain restaurant, you, you will see the, the details screen of the restaurant. And uh, I think we're good to go now. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching the video and see you in the, in the next episode.